G'day gamers, Ranger Tony here, back with more Neverwinter Nights Enhanced Edition, where we are playing the main campaign as a halfling sorcerer. We are going to dive back in. We're just about to head down into the, I suppose it's catacombs under Beggar's Nest. A bunch of cultists down here, so they're going to get a, a lightning fireball, or what is essentially a lightning fireball. I said at the end of my last end of the stream last night that oh, actually let's just fix that webcam shall we there we go now uh, I think I said at the end of the, the stream last night we're, we're feeling pretty powerful now we're at sixth level I believe it is and we're not having too much troubles as you saw I took out that group of cultists with a single spell I think there was only like two or three of them or something but still maybe there was only one let's go back and have a look uh, one Two, three, and a corpse. So there was at least three cultists in that group that was over here that uh, that we destroyed. Hmm. So yeah, feeling pretty powerful as my sorcerer it's now just a case of um, you know being careful and frugal with my with my spell lists okay so apparently there well no I don't need to worry about resting really um, I barely used any spells in that fight what was that negative energy burst Oop. We haven't used that yet. We'll go carefully around the trap. So, pretty sure there's another group of guys here. Actually, I'm pretty sure there's another trap near here somewhere. Okay. It's not what I want. So, there's a cultist there, and there's another cultist there. Let's try this negative energy burst and see what it does. Right. I don't know what it did, but whatever it did wasn't good. Well, it didn't whatever it did didn't work because we got done by that trap, which I really should have I should have realized was going to happen. Do you guys want to go and attack him? Oh, well done, Lindsay. Oh, Lindsay. Keep calling you Lindsay. So, each of us is in individually getting pretty powerful at the moment. Some of Linu's spells are pretty damn effective. Okay, I'm pretty sure that opened the door back this way. Um, but I think what we'll do is we'll come over to here can't rest while there are enemies nearby. Is there a position we can get to where you will let us rest? No. No. Okay. Well, I'm a little bit concerned by Linu and, and Kane having a little less health than I would like. Hey, thanks for the follow there. 
of the A baby live. I probably got that wrong. I hope I didn't. Uh, but I know I probably did. Beetle. Dead beetle. Uh, let's do an acid arrow against that one. Damn it. That's the worst part. When they when they die before you get a chance to attack. Because your companions are just that good. Oh, I didn't even notice that one come through the door. I was too busy looking around. now? No. Still says there ain't. Well, yeah, there's a room right there full of full of what I'm going to assume are bad guys. I still have my mage armor on. Ooh. So what? Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hmm. It's a little annoying. I wish they were clustered just a little bit closer together so that I could do my scintillating sphere a little bit more effectively. So as it is, I'll do a loop on that guy. I was hoping that would arc to him as well. I'm going to move out of range right there. Where is... Oh, Khan's in the fight. Okay, that's good. Uh, there we go, that acid arrow worked well. And you're doing that one. Oh, and that's the only one left. I might just do a, a measly... Oh. Yeah, good. Didn't waste any spells. Oh, oh, oh. Where are you going? There's another uninjured fire beetle over there. And I can't even reach him from back here. now that we've cleaned out this room again not that it's urgent but I'm out of second level spells and they're my more useful consistent damage dealers at the moment I mean I know I can drop a scintillating sphere anywhere because it's not going to injure my companions because that rule is on at the moment but it does seem a little strange to do that. Remove blindness or deafness. Yes, we don't need that. How much stuff am I carrying at the moment, actually? Thankfully, it's not all that heavy. What? How much do those actually weigh? Oh, half. Okay. I might eventually consider putting those away into my magic bag, but for now, I think we're fine not to worry about it. I want to go carefully around this. I think there's a spider in there, if I remember rightly, and what am I doing? I need my mage armor on. Even though at this point, it's only a couple of AC better. Okay, what are we... No. I can never remember how to Yes, look at that. A bloated dire spider. Well. Barely injured by what is essentially a lightning fireball. Hmm. 
Both my companions are poisoned. Come on, I love watching the ripple of magic missiles go in. Oh, near death. I think we'll do another magic missile, although my companions might finish him before I get there. No. Wow, even that, that ripple of magic missiles didn't do it. There we go. Okay, uh, I'm hoping that you guys are not going to have too much of a problem. But let's see if that, that healed you and it got rid of the poison. So let's just do that on both of you. And we're good. Right. More heals. What's on the corpse? Ah, quarrels of frostbite. Yeah. Gemstone, excuse me, I should say. Um, right, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to get in this chest. Actually, I've got a funny feeling it's trapped. Let's just quick save. Oh no, it wasn't trapped, and I was able to get in it, but there's nothing in it. I'm trying to remember what the deal with that is. Identified cloak. Cloak of elven kind. Hide plus ten. Well, we know what we're gonna do with that. Sell it and make oodles of money. Okay. So we don't want to go through there just yet, but that is our ultimate uh, destination, as it were. Oh. That's the problem with running down corridors like that. Oh, more undead. Uh, look, just magic missile. These guys, the other guys will fit. Oh no, couple back there. Perfect opportunity for the loop. Uh, only took one down. Uh, acid arrow, the other one. Should be enough to take him down. Oh, and there's a one behind him as well. Yeah, that took that one down. And let's move up. And burning hands. in this room but I can't for the life of me oh just more undead how about a scintillating sphere on him how many we're we gonna get boom we got three of them and that was pretty much most of them let's give him an acid arrow and he's down I mean, provided I've got the opportunity to rest and replenish my spells. Uh, I'm feeling pretty powerful right now. Because, you know, nothing, nothing much is a problem. Drop a couple of scintillating spheres or Gedley's electric loop. Magic missile. If, if I need to, burning hands, if they get too close, acid arrow, 
It's all good. How close am I to another level? A mm, little way off. We will do a quick save. Oh. Ah, this door is fastened from the other side. This is the one that we have to come from the other location. Uh, so if we come out of that, that was the, yeah, that was the room from the other one. I don't, I'm not that concerned about doing that location. I mean, sure, we could go all the way out, go back up, go to that warehouse, come back down, do those little bits of corridor. We'll get a fraction of experience. Yeah, all right, we'll do it. You convinced me. Run around here. Yeah. See, pseudo dragon had to go and run through the trap. Uh, is it this way? No, it's not. It's back this way. That's right. This little den of corruption and cultistry, if that's a word. Uh, so we are there. We need to come over here to the warehouse. So just over here. Actually. And have we finished that quest yet? Missing brother. I don't think that we actually have. So I was going to go and talk to him, but I don't think we're actually able to yet. So let's not bother with it. Let's come over here. Right. basement warehouse. Be good if I could just like teleport through this wall here because I need to go just there. It'd be nice if there's like a secret door but there isn't. No, it doesn't take all that long to go around. save and through we go okay I don't recall so this here is the door at the other side there that we couldn't go through a moment ago Ooh, weak shadows forgot they were here and that was good no, no, wrong button, wrong key, Tony. What is going on? Why can I not? There we go. Okay. 
hopefully that strength decrease doesn't last too long. Should be able to open that. Oh no, that's right, we've got it. There's a lever we've got to do. Um, can I get you to heal me, please? It's not urgent, but rather than rest just yet, although, well, again, all my second level spells are gone, I'm going to be dropping some electric fireballs on my head again. So there's a lever over there. Oh, there's a trap right there. And I'm sure that we are going to trip it. Let's magic missile him. Should be able to rest now, I would hope. Get those second level spells back. Oh, I'm out of third level spells too. Uh, let's pull the lever. Just to say we did. Well, we have to be able to continue back the way we came. Uh, we searched that corpse, didn't we? Let's rest. the light as well just to make sure that things are lit up this game doesn't have the whole disadvantage thing I think there is a penalty for attacking in the dark um, but I'm pretty sure my character has I don't know I thought I had dark vision but I guess not Oh, that strength is still decreased. I'm wondering how long that's lasting for. I may have to get a restoration on that. Might be a good idea. Lesser Dispel. Move Blindness, Deafness. So what did that do? Okay. My strength is down, not by much though. It's not hugely detrimental to me because I'm not a strength-based character. If it was, well, charisma in this case. Oh no, they made me ugly. Um, ugly, uh, uh, that would be a problem because that's my primary attribute, but strength is not my primary attribute. Um, even if they did wisdom or intelligence, it wouldn't be a huge problem. But I do sort of feel like I can definitely afford, I've got five grand, I could zip back, do I have anything in my bag? I'm jumping all over the place today. I could zip back to um, I could use the teleporter thing, zip back to town Talk to what's a face and get her to uh, get her a restoration, and at the same time, sell all this stuff. Can I? No. What happens if I do this? Container is full. Okay. So that's the problem. This container can only take one page. Sometimes when you're in chests, for example, you'll notice it has zero, 01 slash zero, 01. Always keep an eye on that because every now and then you'll get a chest which is actually one of two. 
and it means you can use this to go to the next page of items that is in the chest and if you don't realize it you just go click 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 i'm done what there often is is there's often a really big item on the next page that couldn't fit on this page um and i was hoping my magic bag would have multiple pages worth of stuff in it that i could fit in there but it, it doesn't so that is the problem um you're just about to cast uh well i'm assuming that you're actually going to be casting something like well i was thinking you were going to be doing um turn on dead but you didn't need to because i just killed them all uh, there's another group there. Let's just come around here, pause, click, and aim. Electric fireball, blat. And that one's still alive because he was outside of the range. And he was killed by the fire. I don't know, I've played this module several times. I mean, I haven't I haven't finished it several times. I've finished it once as a ranger, strangely enough. But I've played it multiple times. And I've got this far several times, but never as a... Um, never as a sorcerer or any sort of arcane spellcaster and I tell you what this is the quickest I've ever cleared out this graveyard because it's normally running around and chopping guys up because it's a large area they're all over the place there's another group down here which I'm going to have to take out with the electric loop mm, multiple electric loops because I don't have enough any other spells. Um, the electric loop's not got large enough radius to take on these guys and take them out in multiples, unfortunately. Let's come back over here. I want to try and get a couple of them together so that I can do a burning hands. Maybe come over here. Oh, no, didn't need to. She did a turn undead and pulverized them. Right. Still, this is the quickest cleanup and uh, destroy, or whatever you want to call it, of this area that I have ever seen. And the good thing is, is that now that I've expended, in particular, those big flashy scintillating spheres... I can rest and get them back because there's no bad guys around. I might take Lightning Bolt next. I was trying to work out... Well, actually, maybe Lightning Bolt isn't such a good idea now that I think about it. Because... I like there's no situation at the moment where I would find a line of lightning more useful than the fireball of lightning if you want if you will um, that I'm currently using with scintillating sphere Ooh. Uh, I don't think I want it to come in here just yet. I think this is the big bad area that I've got to go to, and I think I needed to go to the little place first. Well, I didn't need to, but... Uh, what's... going on? I don't remember what's going on here. Why... He's just exploded. Okay. Let's come out, and let's look at the little, the little crypt first. Don't recall.
recall if there was a difference, but it sort of feels like... Okay, so that's... Oh, maybe that's the way you come out. Maybe that's it. Try to remember. It's probably been... I want to guess and say four or five years since I seriously played this model module. Uh, a wall at arm's length. Okay, that means nothing to me. That's just like a first level spell, isn't it? Yeah. No, I don't want to be using that. Okay, let's quick save. Do I still have my... I don't. I didn't set up my mage armor. Okay, now we'll, we'll quick save because... That makes more sense. Uh, right, I don't want to go through there yet. I know that I used to always go all the way around the outside first before I tried to go in. I'm not entirely sure I remember why. This just feels so cheaty to go splat like that. All of that to take down one guy. I was hoping they would be a little bit closer together, but... Let me see, can I take him down with a... With... We'll never know, because the turn undead... Yeah, you came in a little little slow with that, Khan. I'm not complaining, but... Next time, you might want to wait. That... That. Uh, where are we? There we go. Stuck a little bit. Uh huh. I need to just bring that volume up a touch because I can't hear any of that and if I can't hear it I doubt you can either glittering necklace it's nothing special okay uh, what am I doing so Didn't do much damage. Uh, yeah. Kaboom. You're not finished with him yet? It's a weak zombie. He should have been a pile of goo by now. Ancient key, Torrens ring. So that's Torrens ring. We can give that back to his brother at the house that I was mentioning earlier that I wasn't sure if we were done with yet, and we are. Well, we are now. Uh, don't recall if this door is open yet. Let's have a look. It is. Oh. Well, we'll try it. Wasted, because it only stopped one guy. Uh, acid arrow. My acid arrows seem to be powerful enough to take these guys down in one hit now, so... Let's, uh... Burning hands him. There we go. Just a bunch of... Corpses over here to loot. Another glittering necklace. Some coin. Okay, so we won't 
progress there. Spell for dead zombies. Uh, let's come back here. Can we rest? There we go. Get back my four electric fireballs. Zombie Lord. One, two, three, four, five, six. I hope he's not uh, resistant to acid. And he absorbed the spell. There we go. That's getting some acid. do to me he cast slow on me but I must have saved against it yes I did I don't care if he already has the spell effect you're doing damage that's the main thing And there we go, that worked well. Uh, yeah, you didn't need to do that again, he's dead already. Uh, but I, I like that ability in this game to queue up spells. And the same ability was in Neverwinter Nights 2 as well. I believe, I seem to recall doing that. A bit annoying that he, that guy didn't drop anything. It was a pretty significant fight. He had a couple of karma there. Ooh, Ring of Jade. That's nice, but I don't want it. I thought one of these bodies was special in some way as well. I guess not. Neutralized poison. Could have used that a little bit ago. Uh, where are we? Okay. Apparently there's enemies nearby, so we can't rest right there. Let's come over here. And rest here.
Alright, for some reason the music still seems rather loud to me. Is there anything in the advanced sound options? 2D, 3D bias. Okay. That's fine. Whatever that means. Uh, spells. Hello there. Uh, acid arrow. Wow, didn't kill him. That's amazing, because normally it does. Perfect opportunity. Splat. Yeah. That bless is nice, thank you. But, didn't really need it. Okay, I remember these rooms, some of them have this animated armor. And frankly, I have no idea what is going to work against these guys. Don't know if they're vulnerable to things normally. Okay, they take acid damage. That's good to remember. How can a sarcophagus be locked? Uh, follow me please, thank you. Step, there we go. Was there one in here? Oh, there was. to open locks this area is going to be annoying because I'm pretty sure that every single one of those has some form of lock on it. I don't think any of these are unlocked. Ooh, remains of one of those guys. Follow me, leave it alone. I'm actually pretty sure that's the door into the main fight here. Ooh. That door's already open. Ooh, and there's the animated armor in the corner. somewhere we can rest to get some spells back, but... Definitely making good time compared to what I normally do. On this. Having said that, finishing the, the Beggar's Nest, that's about as far as I get with most of my playthroughs. If I, if I didn't you know, if I didn't finish it, I didn't usually get much further than that. Um, oh, 
thought there was some beds down there. There is. We'll pause. I'll blow them all to pieces. something about no I was going to say something about the altar, altar but I don't think there is I might have been thinking of something else look at all these chests I just can't get into it's trapped but can I get into it I can 30 gold that was worth a couple of hit points Magic bag and an ancient key, a crumpled note that says Oh, yeah, so that's the that's the uh what's a face. This is a twenty percent magic bag. We're gonna sell that one. And we'll keep our other one. He's still bashing at the chest. There's the channel of the... Oh! That's not good. When did I last save? <sighs> okay. I wasn't paying attention to how much damage I had taken. later I think uh, no I don't want a trap thank you So that one was the only one that we could get into of those chests. Get that, get this. Okay, quick save, oh no, quick save. Pretty sure no matter what I do, this is a pretty devastating trap. another door along here somewhere. Oh no, that's right, this corridor is really long. Uh, sure, let's go to here, because that door's open. There we go, 
Is that all of those guys? It was. Some corpses to loot. Technically, we haven't done this area here, and there is, I think, now that I remember, there's a small room or group of rooms here. The main room is there, which has the, the, um, the yawn tea in it that we have to kill. Um, oh, no, that's just that guy again. There's a cleric of Cyric, the evil god, in here. And he wishes to speak to us. Cease your ravings. Who are you? Follower of the god Cyric. You're going to stay in prison there. Well, in fact... What? Why did it not let me kill him? I think you just have to pick the lock or something. Um, right, so we'll come back down here. We should be able to rest here now. Very good. of power. Uh, these tools and corpse. Not corpse and some coin is what I meant to say. Shouldn't have bothered picking up that arrow. Oh, and gauntlets of sword play. Yeah, we didn't want that jade ring. in this room. I think it's like maybe not a lich, but I think there's something in here. Uh, so we'll quick save before we go in. Oh, that's right. If you loot the sarcophagus. I knew there was something in here. Uh, let's try the chests. We're not going to get into any of them. I really should have built this guy with at least some skill in picking locks if I wasn't going to have Tommy in the group. Uh, how about 
Can you heal me, please? You can't. That's not good. Why did that not... She cast Lesser Restoration. Um, there we go. So she must have got rid of... Yes. The Strength debuff that's on me. Oh, Trap Triggered. Ooh. Heal me again, please. That's locked. That's locked. 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 Yeah, I'm really wishing I had some skill in lockpicks at the moment. Uh, let's hope this doesn't kill me in one hit. Trap triggered. Heal me, please. Uh, let's open this and get this guy out. That's right, he doesn't attack until you get the armor out. And then he goes nuts and it's a mummy. Of course it's a mummy. with magic missile. Why don't you um, actually do some good rather than sitting over there bashing on a, a thing. So, we're close to our weight limit now. I think what we're going to do is we're going to open this and we are going to take a couple of out and we're naturally going to put that in didn't help a lot but it's not terrible either um, yeah it's only these rooms in that area to go Part of me wants to go and sell up and come back, but we'll quickly run around to the top up there, and we might do the full little cells with their animated armors in them, and then we might teleport with our stone of recall, rest up out there at the temple sell up and then come back with you know full full spell slots etc and go in and take on yuan t um, oh look that animated armor is out of his room Acid arrow. That nearly got him. Let's finish him off with Ray of Frost. There we go. Uh, oh, that door's open as well. There he is, right there. Um, can we move over to here? And then do the acid arrow? Anything. He did not. He did that one. Okay. Open that door. There he is right there. Step into there. Cast burning hands to there. He didn't drop anything. 
thing. Let's get the last one. Oh, there he goes. Uh, turn. Burn. just got this for Xbox and you have no idea what you're doing but it's fun nonetheless okay um, yeah it is a great game I hope they've I hope you're getting the improved graphics versions um, because they've made some changes for example you might notice that everything over here in the background not only is it dark but it's a little bit blurry and they've done that deliberately to give it a bit more depth of scale it didn't used to be like that. It used to be still fairly sort of crisp and clear in the distance. Um, actually, I think you can even turn that, that option off in the graphics to do the... Um, um, yeah, I, I can turn off the depth of field, for example. And you'll see how, you know, everything, even over here in the corner, it's all very... It's dark, but it's very crisp. It's not like blurred out like it was and I actually like that option um, where was it uh, now it's under graphics Tony not not there um, be, 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 be. come on it was just here somewhere depth of field there we go save resume game see how it's all blurry back there I don't know how well you can see that um in the in the vod but yeah um i think i have one or two build videos for neverwinter nights um although you can go back and see my videos from a couple of days ago where i built this sorcerer and and watch uh my progression there and then um a day before the day before that i built a rogue um so, yeah. Uh, temple services. Let's start selling. Can't sell that. Oh, I didn't identify that previously, did I? Armor of comfort. I can't wear it anyway, but... Interesting to see. Bolts of frostbite. All of these... There are also there are also a lot of guides online that you can find where people, um, you know, basically tell you all the stuff you need to know about how to play various characters. I mean, that's where I learnt as well. Um, but I did have some knowledge of the D and D three point five rules as well before I. Um, got into this game. Not a lot, but I had a little bit of knowledge. Um, and that helps as well. Don't want sound burst. Don't want that. Don't want that. Don't want that. I don't think I can sell that, so that might have to... And I can't sell that. Let's put this... Actually, I think I've been putting those in a... Yeah, we'll sell the crumpled note. But we... Did we have full stacks of those back here? We did. Um, and I don't want... 
I know what that bag is. Oh, that's right, I didn't identify it the second time, did I? Uh, no, I want to sell that. I don't want to open it. Okay, here is how you do this. You drag it and drop it over there. There was no sell option on that because where the sell normally goes, over to the right here, is where the open is for those containers. So the only way to sell those containers is to drop them in the store, and that does the same thing. Okay, we are all good. I did... Yes, I did do that. Uh, what did that do? It gives me a law bonus. How much is that? 3,900. No, I don't think I want that. Uh, no, no. Boots of Striding. Constitution plus one. Is that going to be useful? No. Uh, we don't have any. Cloak of Movement, Fortification, Elven Kind, Robes of the Old Order. We don't have any Wizards robes or stuff. Those are all going to be clerical spells, or stuff that I've sold, mostly. Most of these aren't going to be any use to me, because I've already got them all better. Uh, about the only thing from here is maybe take some more heals, but I don't think I need them. Not against this, not in this fight against what's the name. Uh, I do need restoration, so. I need you to heal me. There we go. That worked. Goodbye. Thank you. End dialogue. Uh, we'll come back over here and we will rest. I chose a druid. Could I change my animal companion at will or am I stuck with the bear? Um, you probably are able to change the animal companion at each level. Every time you level up, you should be given the option to either stick with that animal companion or switch it to another one. Um, because the same thing happens to me. I have this pseudo dragon here. Um, and there is a way to look at him. I can't remember what it is. More actions, examine. So my little pseudo dragon here, he is my familiar that I can summon as a, as a sorcerer. Um, and every time I get a level, and I go up a level, the very last thing it does is ask me what my familiar is going to be. And you can just click OK and continue on with that same familiar, or in your case, animal companion, or you can change it to something different. So, yeah, if you don't want the bear, when you level up next, switch it to something else. Hope that helps. Okay, I need to get my mage armor on, and we will light the place up a touch. No, no worries. That's that's what I'm here for. Is uh, helping people to understand the games that I play. That's what my YouTube videos are all about. Well, most of them. G'day, Saint Salvius. Uh, no. Didn't st Well, I have. I did start a little bit early because it's been going for an hour and ten. But it's only. I normally start about forty-five minutes ago, so I started, you know, twenty minutes early or something. Um, let's get in here and do this battle. Uh, there's a lot of skeletons and not skeletons, uh, zombies and such in here. So I'm going to try and clear a lot of them out at once. Yeah, that didn't work as well as I would like, but it almost took out that wraith. I'm going to drop another scintillating sphere down there at that group. I actually find that when I'm doing this battle, 
I've done this battle multiple times as a ranger. So a couple of times as a monk. I think maybe once as a rogue. And this is, of course, my first time doing it as a sorcerer. Um, the, the big bad... There's someone over there, but the yarn tea that you're looking for is that one right there. And what I normally do is ignore all of the zombies and everything on the floor down here and just go up and beat the living hell out of her. Um, but I am a little bit conscious of the fact that I am not that survivable by myself down here. I want to get as many of these zombies sort of grouped up together down here. But if I can get... Can I get a shot off? I can. If I can get a... What happened to that? She's got spell resistance. Damn it. Ooh, this is going to be fun. She's got very heavy spell resistance up there. Is she protected from magic? I've only got one magic missile. Where did all my spells go? No, she's, she's resisted. And I, I went to all this effort. Where did all my spells go? I've only cast one first level spell. Well, two if you consider Mage Armor. I should have had six more spells. Was she... Was she, um... Like, draining spells from me or something? Doesn't say it, but she has been casting some unknown spells. How to equip magic. Okay. Um, if you hit B, it brings up your spell book of known spells. Um, you can drag any of those spells down onto the bar down here and then you use the function keys so f1 f2 f3 f4 the other way to do it is if you if you hit f no sorry that's that's never win a nights 2 let me just double check if there is a uh, where are the key no the key bindings are here. Uh, that's the move. Gain. That's the radial. Yeah, they don't have the quick the quick cast thing that they had in Neverwinter Nights 2. So yeah, the other option is you can just right click on yourself and it brings up a menu of all the stuff that you can do and it will have so this little dot looking one here is your spells and so you can go cast spells and excuse me you can look at special spell abilities which I have counter spell and dispensive defensive casting or you can then come in here and it shows all of the different levels of spell now I only know up to level three but if I knew four five six and you can then just click on each of these these are just what are called radial menus and you can just click on them and they give you options you right click to go back a level um, I think you can right click anywhere actually to go back a level yeah you can um, so that's the other way to do it um, it doesn't matter whether you're a wizard or a sorcerer or a cleric or a druid the spell system all pretty much works the same the only thing that you have to do as a druid is in your spell book here, there will be the option to say which of these spells per day you want to actually memorize. Because I'm a sorcerer, I don't memorize spells. I cast them innately, is the way it 
it works out. So um, let's see if that's going to get through her spell defenses. Oh, it did. Oh, man, she just hit me for 21. No. Yeah, no, I did 21 points of damage to her. She did 12 to me. Um, I'm going to reload my quick save here for a second because, yeah, I'm not happy with... Yeah, what happened here? We went and rested. I went... Did I? Oh, maybe I... Maybe I didn't wait for it to rest fully. Let's go and do that again. Well, actually, no, let's not, let's not do that again. Let's just move over here to a point where we can rest. And we'll rest again. No, it's okay. It, uh... There are some things that the game doesn't explain very well. Um... There's other things that you can do. So, for example, on the portraits over on the side here, you can right-click on those. And so you can command your animal to do things. You can tell him to, to stand his ground, to guard you, to follow you, to attack the nearest opponent. And if he has any special abilities, you can come in here and do them, or he might have spells that he can cast. You can also unsummon... Oh, and I can possess my familiar. I don't know if you can unsummon your animal companion, though. I don't remember. Um, and same with your companion. So Linu is my companion. She's a cleric. If I want her to heal me, I can just come up here to heal me and click that, and she will cast heal, uh, which is very nice and useful. Okay, I feel like we're better set up to do this fight now. And I am going to get here and then just cast all four of these at her. What is happening? Did that... Oh, no line of sight. Oh. She knows that I'm gonna... She knows that she's in trouble, so she's come down from up there. She resisted that one. She didn't resist that one, but she's been healing herself. Uh, let's try burning hands. Got a, f a couple of them, maybe. No, she resisted that. And she resisted that. She's probably going to resist magic missiles as well. Where are my companions? Where is... Lene's over there. She's uninjured. That's fine. Oh, what am I talking about? Now I remember what I'm supposed to do here. Yeah, the, the AI is not too bad in this game. Um, I don't know that I'd say that it's that smart, though. Um, what we want to do, though, is we want to come up here and we want to destroy this. Uh, I'm going to come around this way. And I think I'm just going to use a burning hands on it. This actually gets rid of all the undead or a good portion of them. And I think it weakens her as well. Do I have the range from up here to cast that on her? No, I'm going to come down to do it. She's 
she resisted. Damn it. Let's try the smaller version. Ooh. Very nice. Well, not that nice actually. I did four points of damage, but still. So we're going to try a few different things. I'm basic. Oh, good. Still only says barely injured, though. I'm basically letting Linu um, handle any of these other undead that survived. Was there another? I th thought maybe there was another altar like thing that you had to do to get rid of the rest of the undead. I thought if you did that, you got rid of most of them. Anyway. Um, let's try a magic missile against her this time. Yeah, no, she resisted that. Uh, well, let's give you a hand. Oh, that's the problem. She does a lot of damage. Okay, let's do this again. Of them. What's left? Let's help clean up what is left. Oh, there we go. That worked well. Uh, who else? There's one over there. Identify. I want to heal my animal companion. There we go. And then I'm going to get out of range and try this loop. Okay, we're doing better this time because these guys are in close and able to do melee damage. She has such good spell uh, defences that it's hard for me to do much damage with spells at the moment. Uh, let's try a magic missile. Damn it, I just realised I had to try and heal Linu. Um, I'm in... Yeah, this is not going well. Because if she kills Kane, which it looks like she just did, there is no way I can kill her by myself. Um, I... What did she do against me? Cast an unknown spell. It's annoying that I can't detect what she's using. Bloodstain damage resistance absorbed from damages. She must have cast a spell called Bloodstain, whatever that is. Um, yeah, this is not going to end well. 
because I can't get through her spell resistance. getting there I just got to keep an eye on my companions and make sure they don't die as easily is the thing there we go now got rid of most of those let's come down here can you do like turn on dead or something no but you did that which is good enough let's come over here Is that all of them? No, there's another one here. Kane is badly wounded. Come to me. Very good. And then I will heal you. will kill off the last couple. Good. Barely injured. Did she take any damage? No. Uh, yes, she did resist the spell, unfortunately. I'm just going to spam all of these in the hope that they're going to do some damage to her. Oh, that one did still just says she's injured, it doesn't say very badly. She resisted that. Okay, we are badly wounded now. I'm actually quite happy with that. she just heal herself? Oh, good. I did get some damage there. How is she doing? Badly wounded. Uh, let's try couple of acid arrows and so I'm having some luck with the magic missiles so I think I'm going to just use the rest of them okay this is where things are getting bad because she's concentrating on uh, using her weapon now rather than yeah if I can't if she heals herself and I can't keep my companion alive, we're in trouble. We did it. All oh, right. Uh, yeah, we won't cast the last magic missile into her corpse. And we got a level out of that as well. And a dagger plus one. And that. I don't think there's anything else in here that we need to loot or do. We've done everything else here. So our best option is... What? Uh, inventory back to this. And use that to go back to the temple. Get her back in our group. Yes. Yes. 
There we go. And then let's come around here and talk to Arat, Beth, or whatever her name is. Uh, recovered one more item. Thank you, that's my degenerate, and goodbye. Okay, I have a level. Let's do that. Yeah, she automatically gets resurrected. Whenever they die, they get resurrected back over here. It has to do, apparently, with this Stone of Recall. Um, and so you can then just come back and um, pick her back up, and she's back in the party, and everything is good. Okay, we're going to level up. So, I'm now going to get level 7 as a sorcerer. Very nice. Um, I really wish there was a quick button to just continue on with these abilities that you've already got. Uh, there's one that I missed. Where is it? Because that's the problem. You sometimes miss one of them. Okay. So, I can get a new first level spell. I know Burning Hands, Identify, Mage Armor, and Magic Missile. Um, that is an evocation spell. Might be worth taking. I get another second level spell. Um, combust sounds good, but it only affects one opponent. But it is an evocation, and I have specialized in evocation because it does the most damage. Is there anything else that I want, though? I do want knock. I really do want knock. Think of all of those... I'm going to take a knock. Yep. And then... What do I want here? That's a conjuration. I can take every... I can take the lightning bolt. But, as I said before, I have... This scintillating sphere, which is like a lightning fireball... And I'm finding it very useful. I don't think that a line of lightning is quite as useful as this ball that explodes. Uh, so I'm going to take fireball there. And we're good. And this uh, Coromeo is the section that I was talking about where I can choose my familiar and I can change them um, so you should see that when you level up and you can then switch to whatever the options are for you as a druid they will not be this you'll have panther you'll have bear I think there's wolf I can't remember what else there is um, but I'm going to stick with my pseudo dragon and he disappears now because we just leveled up, so I have to summon him again. Like that. And I think... She, well, your companions also gain levels when you do. If I look at her now... Uh, where is it? I think I have to do it in here and examine. She's now a level 6 cleric. I can't see her spells, though, but I can see everything else that she gets over time as she gets them. I can't control the spells that she has, um, but I don't need to. Now that I have the knock spell, which allows me to open locks, um, what do I want to do? I feel like let's move that 
to there, and that to there, and the ice dagger to there. So there's my first level spells. There's my second level spells minus knock. We're going to put knock down here. And then we're going to put fireball there. So if I go back to where I just was, I should be able to go around and find all those chests that I couldn't find before and, or couldn't open before, and loot them all. So these chests I got. There's four chests here that I couldn't open. All sarcophagi and chests. So I couldn't open any of those. Oh, that opened, that's right, it opens a whole bunch of things in the area. Oh, I forgot about that. I thought it was one per chest, but that's, that's really good. I know it, it did at least one of these over here. I think it did this one. I'm not sure if it did that one, though. I'm probably not going to get a huge amount of stuff out of these. Did this unlock these ones? I don't... So... A hundred and fifty foot radius. I'm pretty sure that means it's probably done both of these as well. I don't know feet though, I'm an Aussie, we know metric. But it did open all of those, so no, come around, thank you. There's a door, it's this thing, this big hole in the wall covered by this big chunk of iron and wood, and you actually go through it, and that allows you to move through the wall. You don't have to moonwalk, there we go. No, uh, knock is just a second level spell, so I haven't rested to get all my spells back, which I have to do now. Oh, yeah, actually, though, no, that is interesting. Yeah, uh, no, what it's done... No, yeah. So previously, when I uh, have gained new spells and not been able to use them, it's because, for example, if I was to get my first fourth level spell... Right? I wouldn't be able to use that without resting because I would need... Um, I don't have any fourth level spell slots of energy, if that sort of makes sense. Oh, it even opened that. Or well, maybe that chest was already open. No, and no, these chests were already open. I've searched those already. Okay. So yeah, that's... If you, if you haven't cast any spells of that level before, then you will not be able to cast them without resting first so that you can gather the energy necessary for that spell level. But um, because I already have second level spells available and Knock is just a second level spell, I could immediately cast it. Uh, no chests in there. Was there anything in here? There was not. Let's come out this way. There's going to be so many chests through Beggar's Nest, and I could even go back to the peninsula if I wanted to. So all of these chests in here. Um, I don't know if any of these will have been unlocked yet. Let's have a look. But if not, no. Uh, you don't need to do that anymore. 